The following is brought to you by TruthTimeRadio.com. Kathy writes, Please explain Proverbs 26, verses 4 and 5. Why does verse 4 say to not answer a fool according to his folly, but verse 5 says that we should answer a fool according to his folly? Is this a contradiction made by the translators? Okay, Proverbs 26 Proverbs chapter 26, verses 4 and 5. Answer not a fool according to his folly, lest thou also be likened to him. Verse 5. Answer a fool according to his folly, lest he be wise in his own conceit. Well, Kathy, what Solomon is saying here is, don't replicate a fool's actions, but rather reprove the fool's folly. You see, verse 4 is not saying to not answer a fool. It's simply telling how not to answer a fool. And verse 5 goes on to tell us how to answer a fool. Here on Truth Time, it wasn't that long ago I was challenged to a debate by an Ohio State biology professor. He wanted to debate me on the topic of evolution, but he made a rule that I could not use the Bible as a resource during the debate. Well, I, I told him I would debate him, but not without the oldest and most reliable book known to mankind the original science book, the Bible. And, well, that's probably why I haven't heard back from him. You see, if I were to debate him according to his own personal terms of debate, well, that would mean I would be answering him, as King Solomon put it, according to his folly. As a Bible believer, the Bible should be the premise. Starting with anything other than the Bible as a foundation is simply man's folly. In Proverbs 13, 16, we find this, Every prudent man dealeth with knowledge, but a fool layeth open his folly. You've got some who will say, Oh, I just trust my heart to give me the answer. I just follow my heart. Well, Proverbs 28, 26, Solomon said that, He that trusteth his own heart is a fool. You need to get hold of some truth and trust that for a change. Your heart is deceptive. Galatians 4.16 Am I therefore become your enemy because I tell you the truth? For more answers to your Bible questions, stop by truthtimeradio.com.